Hello and let me welcome you back to episode number 31 of my FS Economy Career Mode. Today we're going to be going from Diesel where we landed last time and we're going to be flying to Mono which is still part of the Solomon Islands. Let's go into my flight and as you can see we're going to be taking three passengers, the 87 nautical miles. Once again my aeroplane was not fit for commercial purposes so I've had to do more maintenance on them on it which has cost me an extra $2,300 get it worthy to be airborne if you remember a couple of episodes ago we were looking at the full financial outbreak and it was running at a loss this has made it even more of a loss and I'm only going to get it paid $776 for this it's going to take me some time now to start recuperating this money I've got plenty of fuel I've got 33 gallons in the tank which is 61% so what we'll do is we'll jump into FSX for our checks get our passengers boarded get on our way Right, welcome to Gizo Airport. It's historical time, 6.51 in the morning. Weather conditions at the moment are 29 degrees, 84 Fahrenheit. The surface winds are 132 and 11 knots. A few clouds at 1,800 feet, a few at 1,900 and scattered at 10,000 feet. So determining all that, we're going to be taking off at runway 14 uh, in a south easterly direction turning left coming back on ourselves to get back on course so when we get to mono we're going to be looking we've looked at the weather conditions uh, the winds are 131 degrees at 10 knots which is going to give us a landing on it's going to be either runway 4 or runway 22 so i'll be going for runway number four but that's up to atc to determine which runway we're going to land on but i will suggest runway number four so we'll jump on in the cockpit all our lights are on, we'll set our altimeter for 6,000 feet, be our cruising altitude. That is so annoying, that sound, that buzz, it's so annoying when you turn the autopilot off. We'll be sorting our departure time out for 7am. All our lights are on, I've trimmed the aircraft. Start the engine up. And we will contact ATC. Request IFR clearance to Mono. Well, we're going to select runway 14 to take off. We're going to announce our taxi. And release the parking brake. Had just enough power to get us moving. Approaching. Turn onto the runway. Do a spin a rooney at the top. Set our takeoff flaps. I should have done that earlier.
But if you haven't already done so, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notifications for any further videos, and give me a thumbs up. It really helps promote my little channel for YouTube. I'm hoping by the end of this year that I've got to 50 subscribers. That's my goal. And I'm over halfway there now. And we're halfway through the year. I'm really pleased with how my growth is going. My watch time over this previous five months has absolutely rocketed. I've just realised I'm taking off on runway 32 but well not to worry never mind we'll just just announce departure that's that's my bad that's my bad We'll set power. It's gonna take a while to get down this runway. Keep it straight, it's pushing us to the left. Sixty knots, rotate. Positive climb, laps up. Set it for our bearing, which is 290. Into ATC, Port Moresby Centre, contact for departure. Now I think with the purchase of the scenery is what I've got, my flight simulator is getting a bit more realistic. I'm not one for purchasing the airports or anything, that'll all come in time. But I'm thinking because FSX are not really in any updates, I think it's time to switch to uh, either B3D or to switch to X-Plane 11 it's just something that I have to see and go ahead with when and if I feel necessary but at this moment in time I'll just continue using FSX being hit by a little bit of turbulence I'll just continue on this, uh, I'll show you some of the outside shots of this scenery, wing shots, get to the top of the climb and I'll join you again when we receive our instructions from ATC to start our descent into Mono Airport.
So ladies and gentlemen, we are now cruising at 6,000 feet. If you look to your left, you've got the island of Renonga, which is, this is the north side of the island. And if you look to your right, that is the island of Vela La Vela. which is one of the bigger parts of the Solomon Islands. We're currently 70 nautical miles away from our destination, which will take us approximately 40 minutes. So we should be down on the ground in about 50 minutes. I'll speak to you again when we are due to descend into the airport. Snacks are available at an extortionate fee. Short, eight, one, short, six, seven, miles, turn left And as predicted, we should be landing on runway number four. So sit back, enjoy the flight, enjoy the views, and I'll join you again shortly. Well, ladies and gents, if you like to get back into your seats, we're currently descending to 2,100 feet. We've been given these instructions by ATC. We're currently 17.9 miles away from the airport. We'll be landing in about 10 minutes. We'll be landing on runway number four. Um, it, it is a coral runway. There's not a great deal we can see. We've got some low cloud cover. Currently descending at 600 feet per minute. Travelling at a speed of 101 knots. Also experiencing some mild turbulence outside.
the airport is currently at our two o'clock.
I think I've actually got the runway in sight. It doesn't look very big. At our one o'clock. We'll start our descent now, we're seven miles away. That fetching our engine speed down. Put our first notch of flaps in to decrease our speed. descending at 500 feet a minute That lining up with the runway now. Like there's a lot of trees there.
seem to be crabbing away from it. Don't seem to be lined up with the runway itself. Notch your flaps in. We're at a thousand feet. The wind just seems to be pushing me away from the airport. I've got a bit of a crosswind coming from right to left. Level out. A bit better. Starting to come back on ourselves now. 500 feet above. Small adjustments, slight adjustments, fetch us back on. Currently 300 above. Oh, that's uh, over the trees. No parking spots, it's just a case of uh, get off the runway soon as. Off here to the right. Back in front of this tree. Flaps up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mono. The boat will soon be available to take you onto the mainland. We hope you enjoyed your fight with Saw Airways. And don't forget to take all your belongings. And now disembark the aircraft. Thank you for flying with me. Well, that's the end of the fight. What we'll do now is we'll go into FS Economy and we'll go and check all the financial details. And I know I've made a loss. I've not made a loss on the flight. I've made a loss on today's earnings because I've had to do maintenance on the aircraft.
So I'll join you over there in a second. Here we are on our flight log. See that the income from the flight was seven hundred and seventy-six dollars. Not a lot. Uh, the rental was free for my aircraft. Ground crew fee was seventy-seven dollars and sixty cents, which is ten percent my earnings. Which means that the earnings for this flight were six hundred and ninety-eight dollars and forty cents. Gone into my monthly statements. So the assignment income, what I've had flights for this month three thousand and thirty six dollars which has been the total profit of two thousand seven hundred thirty two dollars and forty cents but as you can see on the next i'm down six thousand hundred dollars means altogether this month i've made a total loss of three thousand seven hundred seventy four dollars but that's due to maintenance of the aircraft twice and the aircraft ownership fees but it's quite a lot of money to be hemorrhaging away but i'll continue on and i'll I make money. My bank balance has gone from 32000 to 27000 I had money in my cash balance anyway. Not been a good month this month. But if you're not already done so and you made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell notifications for any further videos. And hit the like button. It helps my little channel out a great deal. And it helps it gain more viewers. But with that, I wish you adios. I will see you next time. And happy fighting.